Alright, I cut a bottle in half. Then I need to cut on this side. Alright, it's gonna look like that. Then I wanna cut it this way to get the holes for alcohol. Then I'm gonna grab a sharpie and match it up with this can. Alright, finally we cut this part off. Okay, now we have two parts like that. We're gonna put it inside here. Grab a piece of plywood, put it on top of it, kind of firmly, so it's like same level. And just hammer it down. You see, it's going in and all the way in. Looks good, it's all the way in and now we're gonna make a holes over here, around here. So we can even cut this one down even lower. And now we're gonna need to make holes. You see how it's popped up a little bit? Just a little bit lower where it's popped up. I will make a bunch of holes with this pin. Uh, small holes. You see how I'm making holes all the way around? Then we're gonna put a rubbing alcohol in there. You see, not too much. And light it up. We're gonna give it a minute to get it going. And after the alcohol boils, it's gonna start to burn from here. So then we're just gonna put the top on the. So then we're gonna put the top on the stove, and it's gonna boil the water. And the toilet paper. I took the tube out so it doesn't have a tube, and then I'm gonna put it inside of a can like that, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab alcohol and. Fill it up, so the toilet paper will soak in all this alcohol. Okay, that should be enough. Now we're gonna go outside and test it out. All right, looks like we got it on fire and... So we're gonna set a couple bricks next to it, so we can put a pan on top of it. We got here a pan of water. And let's set it right here and wait till it boils. So I got here empty tuna can and what I'm gonna do is right on the rim on it, just gonna punch a hole. Just like that. And I'm gonna keep going around it with a bunch of more holes. So we punch a hole all the way around. Now we're gonna punch some more holes, but a little bit lower, just like this, right under it. So this is what it's gonna look like all the way around. We're gonna use 91% alcohol as a fill. Okay, now we're gonna set it on fire. Now it's burning a little. I gotta turn off the light so we can see that it's actually burning. As you can see, it's burning pretty good. Now we're just gonna put water on top of it or whatever and boil something up. As you can see, it looks like a gas stove. Really awesome, what do you guys think? So we place a marker like that and mark it like here on a can, a line. This is tells us where to cut. On this can and on the other can. Now we're gonna cut it on the line. So we end up be being with two bottoms of the can. Then we're going to grab steel wolf and put it in a can like that. And grab it and put it can inside of a can. You can grab a knife and kind of help it. Just like that and push it in. Ooh. So this is going to look just like that. So then we're going to need punch holes with a knife or whatever you have. And now we're going to make like five holes in the middle. On here. Just like that. Five holes here and some holes over here. Then you want to put some kind of fill in there. Rabin alcohol will work or antifreeze heel will work as well. Not too much, you don't want to overflow it. Then we're gonna grab the lighter and light it up. Right. Now you need to put some kind of coin on those five coal, holes in the middle. And the fire is gonna be like stabilized. 
So we got empty thin can and we're gonna cut it all the way to over here. So grab some of the tools like our metal cutters and you see how I cut it to this line right here to the last line then flip it over and do it on the other side. Now what we're gonna do is fold this ones out like that. You see, try to fold it on this last line right here. It's like indicator. Be careful, the edges might be super sharp. So might wanna wear gloves or something. So just like that, it looks like a flower. Now you see this last line right here? We want to fold this up like that, on each side. Kind of set them up on the same level, make sure like pretty good. Now we're going to get aluminum foil sheet and smash it in the can and kind of wrap it all around. So make it like a plate. Then we're going to put a bunch of charcoal. That should be enough. All right now, me and KGB survivalists gonna test it out, make some hot dogs. Okay, we started the grill like just like that, and we're gonna wait till it's gonna get nice and hot before we're gonna throw the hot dogs on it. Then we're gonna grate like a barbecue grate and put it on top of our thin barbecue. You see, we can place it something like that. It's actually made for like a hot dogs or some stuff. You can find one in the oven and just put it just the same way. And now me and KGB survivalists just gonna throw a couple hot dogs on it and see if it works or not. Yeah, you can hear it sizzle. Nice, the whole pack. We can fit the whole pack in this thing five or six times around with the knife like that. Ah, it looks like we got it, and it just pops in like that. I'll just take it out. Next, we're gonna get the marker, put it on some kind of lever. I using measuring tape, and like hold it like that, and just spin the can around. To mark it where we're gonna where we're gonna cut this one and that one after we mark it we're gonna cut it pretty much grab your knife or you can even use scissors I prefer this knife and just go around a couple times and just gonna cut too easily you see for the second time so it is punching too easily this part and then grab your other can and just put it too and like just to make it stretch out because we're gonna put them each other that's good and then we're gonna do the same thing on this and do not throw away the rest of the can we're gonna use one of them alright and we got this part right here. Alright, do not throw away this part because we're gonna use it right now. Now we're gonna get our measuring stick and measure how big is our can. So, pretty much add like quarter of an inch. Alright, measure it. And remember to add it a little bit like that. A little bit spaced. Then we're gonna get our scissors and cut it to the line in between all over the line and then cut it on the side like that don't matter how and you see we mark these two dots right here this one and that one right here and we're gonna put our measuring stick 
and mark it like that. And then we're just gonna cut it. So then fold it and uh, you see those sage right here, like this one. We're gonna stick this piece in there. It's tightly sitting in the edge. We're gonna take it out, hold it, and grab our staple and staple it. Like twice, one on the top, one on the bottom. Make sure it's gonna, the staple gonna go through. Alright, then you wanna cut two small corners like that, triangles. So the alcohol would go to one, two. Let's check this out. And then we're gonna set it down, tangles down, and you see how fit it fits nicely, doesn't come off in those edges. And then we're gonna stick it in to this side. You can mess it up at first, I kinda bend it a little bit. Not so easy, but yeah, you can make a dent first, and then you can fix it out, fix it up from the bottom, so it's not a big deal, and just push it through. And as you can see, we have this one inside. Just push it in all the way down, and make sure this top. It will go in the top pages too. Well, as you can see, something like that. You see, we got inside like that and closed up, got into the top page and the bottom inch. Next, we're gonna use the pin and make a like, bunch of holes in here. But these cans are really thick, so I'm gonna need pliers or something to just kind of tap on it and smash it a couple times and we I got the first hole if you use those small cans it's a lot easier to punch a hole to or if you or you can use like my method just bang a couple times just make it kinda evenly you know Alright, as you can see, we made a bunch of holes like this, like a stove. Next thing, we're gonna put some alcohol in there, not too much. And then I'm gonna get my pink lighter and light it up. Let's see, let's see what happens. And of course, fire extinguisher close by, just in case, you know. Who knows what's gonna happen? If you like spill it over, it's all experiments. But this is cool stuff. And a zombie apocalypse happens, you need to cook. And that's uh, really easy to make. And you can cook a usable thing, you can cook a lot. So after the alcohol heats up, it's gonna start burning through the holes. And it's gonna look like a stove. You really don't need to put a lot of alcohol, but you see how it's burning like a gas stove. 